you can adjust your fertilizer for the crop based on the size of the canopy. And if you have a large canopy, there are very significant savings in fertilizer that can be made. Not only will you save uh, the cost of the fertilizer, but you will actually increase the yield of the crop because if you apply too much fertilizer to a large crop, you'll reduce the yield as well. John, we're here in a crop of winter oil seed rape. It's the end of January. Can you give me some background on this particular crop? Okay, so this crop was planted 7th of September last year. Uh, we had some slurry to put out, um, so that was the contractor came in, spread the slurry, it was immediately followed with the plough and then uh, a one pass drill um, to establish the crop. Now we used all seed rape, uh, we put the slurry under the all seed rape because all seed rape is very efficient at taking up nitrogen. Um, so obviously any nitrogen in the slurry or any nitrogen that was original in the soil would be trapped by the crop and wouldn't be susceptible to leaching but also then once that nitrogen is trapped in the crop we can use that to reduce the amount of fertilizer that we're going to need in the coming year. As you said the crop got slurry before drilling. How efficient is winter oilseed rape to take up nutrients in the slurry? Okay so oilseed rape is, is extremely efficient at taking up nitrogen that's partly because it's early drilled now this was drilled relatively late on the 7th of September but there's still a lot of sunlight and warmth in September, October and if you're planting it earlier in August. So it can take up a huge amount of nitrogen and oilseed rape crop could take up you know, approaching 200 kilos of, of available nitrogen uh, and hold it in the leaves over the winter. And then what are the steps to calculate what nitrogen fertiliser the crop actually needs? You can assess the, the, uh, the size of the canopy, the green area index as we call it. We know that every unit of green area index contains 50 kilos of nitrogen and you can then use that in a calculation to, if, if you've got a lot in the, in the green area, you can reduce the amount of fertiliser that you need in the spring. Now, I'm not going to go through all the calculations uh, just now, but they will be up uh, on the Chogas uh, Crops website. There'll be a, a calculator there that people can use. And you can, you can assess that canopy size quite easily. If you're used to doing it, you can just do it as a percentage ground cover, or there's apps you can get. There's a BASF Green Area Index app. You just take a picture in the field, and it, it'll tell you what the green area is and you just multiply it by 50 to know how much uh, nitrogen is in the crop. So, we have calculated the green area index and have our N requirement for the crop. So what is the best way to apply it? Okay, so once you've calculated the, the total N requirement of the crop and there's two components of that, one of, one of which is the amount of nitrogen that you need to get the crop to a green area index of three and a half by flowering and you need that to intercept the light but you don't want it too much bigger because then it will produce too many flowers and too many pods and that actually reduces yields and then the second component is you might need some additional nitrogen then for high yield and that's an additional 60 kilos that you apply as late as possible okay so the total end requirement this field has a has a canopy size of just over two so instead of the sort of book value of 225 kilos we'll be applying about 125 kilos to this crop 60 kilos of that will be as late as we can, as late as, as flowering, if we, if we can spread it evenly. But on most farms that will be limited by being able to get the clearance of the spreader over the crop. So as late as possible. And then the other 65 will be slightly earlier than that, allowing for three kilos uptake a day. So sort of three weeks before that uh, would be the latest date you'd want to apply it, but probably from the middle of March onwards. So we now have our fertiliser strategy. Are there any other inputs we need to consider to manage the canopy? Obviously we, we're, we're concentrating on fertiliser as a way of managing the canopy uh, and if you can manage the canopy by applying less fertiliser that's saving the farmer money so it's a win-win you're increasing yield and you're spending less money on fertiliser there will be some crops which are very large and no matter what you do in terms of delaying nitrogen you st the crop will still overshoot the optimum canopy size uh, and in those situations you can use a growth regulator um, and what that will do is it just slows down the growth of the crop um, and, and reduces its maximum canopy size and you'd be applying those in kind of middle of March time but again that would be an assessment of the size of the crop uh, that you have in February, March time, and if it's a very large crop, you'd probably use a growth regulator. So I suppose the sum, you know, the, the the overall summary of that is that you can adjust your fertilizer for the crop based on the size of the canopy. And if you have a large canopy, there are very significant savings in fertilizer that can be made. Not only will you save 
the cost of the fertilizer but you will actually increase the yield of the crop because if you apply too much fertilizer to a large crop you'll reduce the yield as well. This, this approach to fertilizer use on all seed rape is called canopy management and it was established in research that I was involved in the UK uh, many years ago. Obviously we, we weren't sure how applicable that was in Ireland uh, and recently in, in Oak Park, Dermot Forrestal and, and a PhD student called uh, Shiva have been testing some of these principles in, in crops in Ireland and essentially the, the same things apply in Ireland. If anything, uh, oil seed rape is a little bit more efficient in terms of capturing soil nitrogen in Ireland than it is in the UK. So essentially the principles apply equally well here, if not better here uh, than they do in England.